Anyway, welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program, Targeted Individual Experience. Uh, snakes in plain sight. Okay. And when I say snakes in plain sight, the type of snakes I'm talking about is not the one that shed the skin to become a new but it's the ones that will bite you in the back as well as in front of your face all right and how they do it in front of your face is using psychological tactics and methods and behind your back it is the spreading of negative rumor look my favorite number l in the license plate lbf 8832 uh, it's a black key <laughs> it's pretty looking pretty nice too anyhow I was watching a video called um, uh, uh, gen, was it, uh, gen alpha uh, is <laughs> gen alpha is in trouble Okay, and a lot of it has to do with these kids in school today that are uh, reading below their grade level. So you have kids that are in seventh grade and reading on the fourth grade level, uh, doing a fourth grade math. And uh, people are still asking what's going on. Particularly in the black community. It's worse. Right? And who's to blame? Right? Some people will say it's the parents. Yeah, this is what those in, 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 in the authoritative position will always do. Right? They will totally ignore their part right and only blame the parents i talk about this in the 1980s you know you had these kids who were suffering from behavioral issues you know they were blaming the parents so it was the parents the parents aren't cracking so that wasn't for all kids okay that was just for a small percentage of kids all right but what they never talked about particularly in the public housing sector, is how these kids were being exposed to lead on a daily basis. Lead paint, lead in the drinking water, right? They totally ignore that part. Though they knew the evidence was there to show that these kids had lead poisoning. Because remember, once lead get into your bloodstream, right? It's detrimental to your cognitive ability which in turn you will have psychological issues as well as learning disabilities and they knew this they knew this but the state blamed the parents right totally ignoring what they the, their, the part that they played the neglect of providing or making sure that children, particularly black children in urban areas, had safe living environment, but also had safe drinking water and safe food to eat. So now with Gen Alpha, we have a new piece on the board that is causing children to have uh, concentration issues right kids attention span is so low they have no focus right and they are forgetting a lot of things see what they won't tell you is that a big reason for some of these things are increasing noise in their environment cell phones in which black parents being the most uneducated in terms of what 
radio wave or microwave does on the biological systems of human beings. This is why my kids don't even, my son had a cell phone at 12 years old. My daughter will not have a cell phone until she's 12. All of the studies that shows that kids under 12, when parents give them cell phone, particularly at a very young age, it affects their cognitive ability. It affects their attention span. It affects their ability to be, to be aware of their surroundings. But because just like when I was growing up, how television was used to raise us, now tablets and cell phones are used to raise kids because parents today don't want to be bothered putting in the effort to teach their kids anything. They're too busy living their own life and having fun. And our children are being affected by this so greatly that they're going to be the dumbest generation yet. Right? And people don't want to wake up. And who do I blame? I blame our senators, our congressmen, state, and on the federal level, I blamed the telecom companies who roll out cell phone and they knew the effect of cell phone will have on not just adults but children. And so they market, they started marketing cell phone for kids. And how did they do that? Right? By creating cheaper phones with bigger screens. So instead of parents buying kids a, a tablet on a phone, they're just buying them a phone now. Okay? So yeah, my kid, my daughter, uh, 10 years old, she has another two years to go before she gets a cell phone. And trust me, her attention span is, I mean, it has been getting better. Her concentration is not so much. And I tried, and a big part of it has to do with, you know, her parents, you know, particularly her mother, okay? And I bear some of that responsibility too. But I do, my, I do what I need to do in terms of uh, trying to teach them. You know, whereas the other parent just totally abandoned their educational uh, learning or to teach them education, anything educational, you know? So yeah, anyhow, talk to you guys in the next video.